Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath and author, author of Candida Crusher. I'd like to answer a question uh, today that was given to me not that long ago uh, on the internet by a patient in America. And that question was, what makes a good antifungal? What are some of the key things behind an antifungal? How should I select an antifungal for uh, yeast infection? Well, I'm going to answer that question right now. So I believe that there are six different uh, criteria uh, that I carefully look at uh, when it comes to an antifungal. And that's why I, I helped to formulate my own product because I really don't believe that any of the other products uh, that I've used in my clinic fulfill all these six criteria that I'm going to outline to you today. So the first one is that the product should only use proven and highly effective antifungal ingredients, whether they be herbal medicines or nutrients. They've got to be proven, they've got to be clinically um, um, highly effective. So lots of people buy antifungals, but they work partially or they don't work at all. And the problem with a lot of these products is they're not born out of clinical experience. So patients will often buy these products and take them and get mediocre results or poor results or major die off because of the incorrect formulations. Practitioners will often use formulations and switch from one to another. Well, and most practitioners don't specialize in yeast infections like I do, so they don't tend to use a whole wide range of different antifungals. I've used hundreds of different antifungals uh, you know, from different countries, German ones, Swiss ones, uh, American ones, Australian ones, New Zealand ones. I've tried herbal medicines from all over the world. Uh, I've tried all sorts of things, and I've worked out there are combinations that work very well and there are combinations that work very poorly. Um, criteria number two, the highest quality need to be used only. So when you're using a product, you've got to make sure that the raw materials you're using are of the very highest quality. Okay, so they have to be verified. They have the, These sorts of herbs need to go to a lab that, uh, that, will, that will actually uh, assay these products and maybe do some uh, particular type of testing, or we call fingerprint testing, to make sure uh, that what, what the people claim is this herb actually is the herb because sometimes it's not at all. It can be a completely different bogus kind of a thing. So, so what you're seeing is not necessarily what you're getting. And this happens quite a lot in the herbal medicine industry. The third criteria is the product needs to be used standardized ingredients. So by standardized meaning that every time you take a tablet or a capsule that you know that what you're taking is what it says on the label. It's a strong product, it's going to be effective. And if you look at Canzita, for example, uh, the product they helped to develop, the garlic contains 2% allicin. So every time you take a tablet, you know you're getting a set amount of the, the active ingredient from the garlic in that, uh, that tablet. The grapefruit seed extract contains 45% flavonoids guaranteed. So some grapefruit seed extracts on the market are not standardized, so you don't really know what you're getting. You could be getting something weak or strong, and it could be all over the place. The Paldarco, an antifungal herb in South America, is in a 4 to 1 base which means it's standardized uh, to contain f uh, quite a high concentration of active ingredients. Most of these things are, are one to one. So they're only about, as, uh, have about a quarter of the potency uh, than what you're getting here with Kenzita. So the Power Darko, the black walnut extract, uh, the neem and the clove extract uh, in this formula are all in a four to one base. So they're all guaranteed to be strong uh, and potent. The berberine, Berberine is, uh, is what we call an, an alkaloid. It's a particular chemical found in herbs like golden seal uh, and, and various other plants. Berberus vulgaris, for example, uh, will contain berberine. Berberine is the naturopath's antibiotic. So this is a good uh, a chemical extracted from a herb, uh, which is a very powerful antibiotic effect on many bacteria. It's probably more antibacterial than antifungal. It's a particularly good uh, for, for throat uh, and digestive yeast infection. It's going to work quite well on that. So standardized again, 85% standardized hydrochloric uh, uh, betaine. So it's going to work well. Sustained release um, is another one which I want you to bear in mind. When you take a tablet or a product containing all these ingredients, there's no point the digestive system working on it very quickly, giving you a quite strong activity and then low activity. This can also mean that you're more prone to getting uh, a die-off or a Herxheimer reaction. As far as I know, Kanzita is the only antifungal on the market that is sustained release. Now, how crazy is that that the other manufacturers don't do that? 
Okay, sustained release means you're going to get more of a killing power over a two to three hour window rather than bang. So this is why I designed the product like this. High quality, standardized ingredients, sustained release, balanced formula. That's the other criteria. Balanced formula meaning that all the ingredients are very carefully balanced with each other. Okay, I haven't put too much garlic in there because garlic, garlic can be a little, little bit overwhelming for people. The grapefruit seed extract is in a smaller amount because it's strong. You don't need a lot in there. The powdarco is a little bit higher amount. So I've carefully balanced all of these ingredients uh, to work out uh, the perfect, what I believe to be the perfect antifungal. And the sixth criteria is is well tolerated. This formula has been used now on thousands of patients worldwide. We've had very, very minimal feedback on die-off and severe headaches and vomiting and diarrhea. We hardly ever get that feedback. Out of all the containers we've sold, we've had one return, which shows you how darn good this product really is. So uh, it took me six months to formulate this product, a long time to access the standardized uh, ingredients, and I think you're going to be very happy with it. So do give Canzita a go. And those are the six reasons uh, or criteria of what makes a good antifungal product. Thank you.